Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I am joined by Droider Matoya, aka the imposter Samantha. Say hi Droider. Yo, what's up guys? And today we're going to be showing you how to get these wonderful code wands that are all above us here. So let me first show you what we have here. There's two of each, but I was unfortunately unable to find the second death one. I was fishing like three consecutive days, could not get it, but I'm telling you there is a second death code wand, because there's two of each. There's two storms, two ice, two fire, two myths, two life, and two death, but I just couldn't get the first, the second death one. So, let me show you what's all here. I believe I have multiples of each one. Let's start with the golden beak, which is a storm wand. The golden beak, do I have one on me? Yes, I do. I have a golden beak, which is the storm wand you see right here. And all of these are from the same place, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, these are really great for low levels who don't have good gear yet, because they're actually fairly decent weapons in their own. Plus, they're very original weapons. You won't find any other weapons that look remotely similar to these, except for the... Um, the... Imperial, Imperial Staff, I believe it's called, and the Viridian Wand, because those are actually have wands that look like them. One of them would be the Ascended Staff in the Crown Shop, and the other one is one that's dropped from the Buckingham Palace. But the Dragon Beak, or Golden Wand, only gives three cards, three major shocks. I think it's like the one that has the least amount of cards, and it gives three major shot cards doing 75 damage. And this is the golden beak, and it looks like this. The next one would be the arm, arm, armoranthian stuff. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Probably not though. And this is this one right here. I have I was fortunate to get a bunch of these. Um, it's a very lovely staff. I see people with this one all the time. It gives us one, two, three, four, five of the shot cards, which is just slightly less than the major shot card, only 70. Then after that we have the ice up to the storm ones, we have the ice ones, we have the fog staff. Unfortunately I was only able to get this one right here. Um, I really wanted to get a bunch of them, because I used to have a bunch and now I don't. But, I was able to get one and that's still a pretty good deal. It gives the Ice Blast card, which is basically the same as the Armor Refine staff. It gives five of the 70 hit points cards. Um, then after the Armor Refine staff, we have the, um... I know I have two of them, where'd it go? Staff of the Querent. And it's really interesting, I've never seen anything quite like this before. Um, if I had any way of describing this in just one word, it would definitely be Celestian. It is very much a Celestian staff, and we put this fog staff back on the wall so you can see what it looks like. And then after the um, staff of the Clarence, we have the next one, which is staff of the Imperator. Im Im Imperator? I believe I'm saying that right as well. I'm probably butchering names on all of these. Now this one is very, very similar to the other one in the Crown Shop, which would be called the Ascended Staff. And it's probably one of the only two that has resembling looks to another item in the game. Um, as you can clearly see, it looks very similar to the Ascending Staff, just a slightly different color, and it's radiating some sort of light. Um, and it doesn't get the power pipe, but it gets one, two, three, four, five major fire recalls, and out of the, all of them we've seen so far, this one is the best, so far. Then after that we have the Dragon Claw Blade, which unfortunately, once again, I was only able to get that one. And the Dragon Claw Blade... Where'd it go? That gives us five major fireballs, so it's actually just as good as the last one. These fire ones are pretty good so far. And I believe this has a sword strike attack, it like has a sword swipe, not like the other ones where they have 
um, a wand animation on there actually a sword. After that is the galvanic hammer, and I have so many of these. Second the cloco. The galvanic hammer. Where, did you say that you had one when you were fishing? Because I believe you said you got a couple of them. Um, couple. After that one is the blue raptor. I really like this one a lot. I got a couple of them, which is nice. They only have three cards, so much like the um, golden beak, it only has three cards, and they are heroic hits for 90 hits. Whoa! That was a lot. That's probably the most hit points that you're going to get at this level. And with my damage, I could one-shot, not even just my damage, but with basic game start damage, you can one-shot skeletal pirates at this. Pretty nice. Um, it is myth. The wow. last two were fire, and the last two before the fire ones were the storm, the fi ice ones, my mistake. And then after that, we have the Viridian wand, which is pretty cool. I really like how all these are animated. A lot of the ones in the beginning of the game aren't animated, like that's not animated. Um, this this is animated, but that's not animated. But most of the ones from here. I can find the dang thing. Where to go? Viridian Scepter. It has five cards for 75 hit points each. It is called the Major Life Fury. And if I had to rate this, I would, like before I was saying that the best wand you can get for level five and under was the um, Scepter of the Shield wand, which. Olive actually has, and I believe Seth has the fire version, but unfortunately you can only get those on holidays from Nightside, Nightshade, my mistake, not Nightside. And what's bad about that is that while Nightshade, Nightshade is a free boss to get to, you can't get to him on your own anyway until you complete his quest, which requires you to go to either Krakatopia or Colossus. One of the last bosses in Wizard City. It's actually the last boss in Wizard City. Um, but he drops tons of really good weapons gear. He drops the robe I'm wearing. He drops a really good hat. He drops really good shoes. Um, where's she at on here? I don't have her. There she is. Um, yeah, that's the wand of. What is it called? The Wand of Veneration, and it's just as good as this one right here. Um, Major Fireball, Major Life Fury, um, and all of has a shield wand that's exactly the same as these. Um, Night Seed drops them if you can't get to these yet. Um, yeah. These are really good ones to have for when you first start the game because they're the most damage and most power you can get from a single wand until level 5 at least when you can get the Ascended Staff and Dragon Spire. Now after this one is the Wildwood or Warpwood wand which is basically exactly the same thing so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Looks like this and then lastly that I have anyway is the Umbra Blade. Now I see this one everywhere. I think people all have these right here. You can actually have crown insignias on them, but I've never once seen anyone pay for them. They are called code wands because a little while back these used to be part of a promotional code. I believe they were in a magazine perhaps, and if not, they were just given away like promotional. Mm -hmm. Or was it everyone who logged in on a specific day just had them on their account? In any case, they were originally, like, just given to you in codes, or as a promotional item. Um, all of these were, but then, when they were no longer that, they, the name Code Wong still, Code Wong still stuck. But I believe you can get these from playing the mini games in Wizard City, or on the KI Free Games website. I know Grub Guardian has the potential of dropping them. Um, but I'm going to show you to get them without having to have the high score on a nearly impossible game to get a high score on. Um, but the amp right here is a death one, and it gives us five cards of major chill. Another good one for PvP. Uh, not PvP, but for questing at low levels as well. 
I guess I suppose it could be good for PvP too, and it's the only wand in the entire game that looks like this. I think I have one that resembles the Viridian one somewhere. I just can't use it or don't have it. Let me check my backpack because I know I have one similar at least. Oh, I believe it's on my um other house. Um, but you can also get a couple of other ones from here as well. So out of all of them, what would you think your favorite one would be? The fog stuff, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Greater? Definitely the fog stuff is the best one. In terms yes. of look, anyway. Technically speaking, the Viridian Scepter, the, the Warkwood Staff, the Umber Blade, or... The Golden Beak are the best in terms of statistics, but who's going to use these statistics once they get past level 5? They're all going to go for the Ascended Star, which I will also show you how to get uh, almost for free. You need an area to get to it, but it's, you can farm a boss for it. Now, let me show you the um, ones that you can, because you get more than just these. There's a total of 12 different weapons you can get from where I'm going to show you. Um, but those are just the cold one, code ones that I'm showing you right now. And maybe there was no, um, 12th death one, the second death one, because there is the lollipop one that is also now classified as a code wand, since they gave it away as a code once for Halloween. Originally, I used to be able to buy this one with 250 gold in the it was a redistributed city wand shop, but eventually they took it out and made it where you can only get it in this part of the um, Halloween packs or promotional cuts or even Fairy Nightshade can get them. Um, but that is no longer the case. So let's go to my Outlaw Rich Outlaw's Refuge and I'll show you the other ones you can get there. Don't like the mask, there's a lot of things here, don't mind it. Okay, so on here I have a bunch of them floating because I had a bunch. There wow. are just like the code ones. There, oh, there are my ones that look like the Verdian ones right there. Verdian scepter, no mistake. So I have two of them actually, and these are from Barkingham Palace as well, and the final. Dungeon, the horse warnicorn lady drops them. And they are almost identical in appearance. They're just a different color. So, as you can see, I have my Viridian wand right here. It has a green handle and a orange glowing orb on it. And a black, she um, black, um, leathery part. And then with green aura around it, I should mention as well. And then the Reagent's Baton of Ethos? Ethos is a slightly different version of that one. It is a black one with golden trim and a yellow beam around it. And it has a yellow um, metal part with a glowing red orb in the center of it. But you can definitely see how they would resemble one another. Um, and this is actually a really good time to get it when you're watching this video. Today's date is 9-13-2018. And what's great about it right now is that um, you have double chance chest rolls. Whenever you have the free second chance chest rolls, you can go back and when you finish a battle, you can open up a chest and get a second prize without putting in any work whatsoever. Just free for being a member, which is nice. They give us perks now and then. Um, there are actually a bunch of other wands you can get from the place you get all these, and that would be, I'm not going to show you these in depth because you like kind of loser prizes, like, um, plus you can buy these from the bazaar if you don't want to get them from where I'm going to show you. There is the Grutak, the Dark, oh, that's it, that's a mount, don't look at that one. The Staff of the Savannah, the Crackling Juju Staff, 
the staff of long the long journey staff the long long dreamer staff the whistling thorn branch ancestral staff the um, what is that one Balance one is the Broken Branch of Baobab, the Witch Dot, no, that's not right, the ba Black Juju Rod, um, another Long Journey Rod, and what is that one? The Life on Way at the end, I can't seem to click on it for some reason. There it goes. The Staff of the New Sun. And there's also two of each of these, so just like the, the code wands, there's two for each school, giving you a total of 12 regular wands that you can purchase from the bazaar, or 12 code wands that can only be gotten for the next method I'm about to show you, unless you count playing the mini games and getting the high score, which will grant you the possibility of getting a code wand. Now as we travel inside my treehouse and rejoin with Dryder who is fishing here trying to get himself a fox, which you actually can't get right now. I checked and you actually cannot get a whole Pine Avenger right now, which is unfortunate. Now I'm speculating oh. that in the future you will be able to get this as well as the gear from here, but as of right now you cannot. So he's essentially just wasting his code on energy fishing for something that doesn't exist yet. And now we will go to the location of showing you how you can get the cup ones. Actually, fishing them. I guess Driver's just okay. done with. Come here. Oh, here it comes. We are in the elephant graveyard, which you just saw. You can successfully fish up code ones here. Now, for those of you who don't know where this is, this is in Safaria. And you can get here, Dryder, tell me how we get here. Uh, teleport. Uh, this is the, uh, elephant graveyard. You can, um, basically, uh, port to us over here, if you're friends with us. But if you're already, um, got access, access over here, then you can, can, uh, then you can just come back over here and and farm for your fish over here. Very, very instructive. Um, this is actually the, let's see, Crocotopia, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe this is the eighth world in the game. This is in Safaria. You arrive at the Bioball Crossroads, and then you come here from the Jung Jungle, just a straight line through some very treacherous fields here. Those guys are really tough. You don't want to mess with them. Um, because even when you're at the right level, those are really tough. Um, yeah. we're not gonna show you, you just have to take our word from them. They are pretty tough customers. Um, but on either side of this mysterious portal here, there's two little rivers here, one here, and then one on the adjacent side of it. And it's, you can yeah, fish here and you can get them. And now, you can't just come here not knowing what you're doing, fishing, and hoping to get a code one. No, 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 no. This is, a, this is like the final <laughs> boss of fishing. So, when you first start out, you're going to probably have, like, a rank one lesser oh. frost lure, and a reveal fish spell thing. Now, if you try to come here and just randomly use your ice lure, what's going to happen right away is this is going to happen. Oh! And your fish, oh. your, the sentinel fish pulls it away. And you can't even catch the sentinel fish because the lure isn't strong enough to catch them. So you're just going to be throwing your energy away. So what you need to do to fish here is first you need to... Yeah, see, you can't catch them with just the lesser, lesser frost lure. It's impossible to catch anything here with just that. What you're going to need here is... You're going to- I don't need that. 
We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six different spells to be able to fish here successfully and have a chance to get a code wand. First, you'll need the um, common frost lure. This is option one. You don't necessarily have to have a lesser common frost lure, but I strongly suggest having it because with this, you can actually catch the sentinel fish. And they don't catch like normal fish. They're going to go right to it. You have to show you something cool that they can actually do. They're, they're so crazy. Let me show you what they're doing, Jarder, if you would also like to watch. These are like crazy moments. I'm throwing my lure into the ground. And they are so crazy. They are actually going to come tunnel under the ground. There's one around. They will actually tunnel under the ground and get your lure from over here, from underneath it. And how you do this is you pull- look at that, they're just that crazy. They literally tunnel under the ground to get your lure. Um, but basically, the key to catching the sentinel fish is you don't wait for them to pull it down. Um, they will come directly to your lure, as you'll see in a minute. Like, I'm gonna throw it in, and they're gonna go right to it. You don't wait for them to pull it down like normal fish, you hit it right when they're pulling it down. So right, um... Now. And then you catch it. If you wait until they pull it down, they're gonna just escape. And if you pull it down too soon, like in the other people's videos, they'll tell you to pull it down. Don't let them pull it down, hit it as soon as they get to it. Don't do that because that's a common misconception because of how quickly they bite down. You wanna wait until you hear that pop sound where they actually do pull it down and then hit it. So, right about, I'll show you one more time. When you hear them make this sound, right there, that pop, then you pull it down, but I actually did way too long. Um, but just trust me, right when it makes that pop sound, that's when you pull it down. Um, but after that one, you have another alternative for that, and that is the Banished Sentinel 2 fish. And you get the Banished Sentinel 1 fish thing from the quest line in Dragonspire. Where is it at? The Banished Sentinel 1 fish, but that won't work here because these are actually Sentinel rank 2. So to get this one, you have to also complete a quest, I believe, or you could buy it from someone else, I don't remember. But this spell right here just banished every Sentinel in the pond. So you don't have to worry about the Sentinel fish coming after your lure at all, they'll just go away. And then after that one you're going to need the common repost lure which you can get in Dragonspire inside of one of the dungeons. It's probably the only time I've ever seen a dungeon with something in there that valuable. Um, and you can pour to your friends if they're in it. You can have a friend go in and you can just pour to them. Or um, you can go there yourself and not complete the dungeon. You do have to actually complete the first part of it to get to where you can get them. But it's going to pay off to have the rank 3 lures. Um, and they actually do cost 5 energy, where the other ones only costed 3 and 4. So every time you go up a rank, you pay another energy point for it. And then after that, you can get the frost lure as well. These two go together, I guess. And then you're going to want to get the winnow death fish, which I believe you get in... Uh, Mushu? What this I believe you get in Mushu. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll fact check and put all this in the comment, comments of description below on the starter. Do you happen to remember? I don't think he knows. Um, but this spell right here winnows away all those fish that are fire, storm, basically it's rid of everything except for the death fish. And then the charm fish, which is in Grizzleheim, you can just buy some more level. This will bring all the fish right to you at light speed, just like a sentinel fish, except they won't all bite down at once. You have time to catch them. And you can also use the freeze spell. I don't use that much. Fish lullaby. And this immobilizes all the fish in one spot. Another thing that's worth noting here is that these utility spells, like these right here, they only work on one half of the 
side. Like if you fish on use these on this side, it won't work on that side, or vice versa. And then lastly is buoy chest. This is the final this is the current final spell that you can get and you get this as a reward from Rivers of Gold. And it's um, it's amazing. You can use this spell and you're more likely to get yourself a chest. How this works mechanically speaking is you use this which costs 12 energy. It refreshes all the fish in the pond the same way as a um, summon fish works except when you when the fish come back they're going to be especially lucky fish that have chests more likely in them if that makes sense so when you use this you're more likely to catch a chest i'm going to show you right now with the sentinel which are also more likely to drop chests than regular fish if i can catch one focusing all my energy on this one And I did not get a chest, but I assure you that Bowie Chest has very good results when you use it. I bet if I had more energy, I could have caught another Sentinel and it would have been a chest, but I don't have the energy to prove that to you, but if you look at my past live streams, you will see that I have caught many a chest with the um, um, Bowie Chest. Now I'm going to show you how to get all these spells now. So first, if you Dryder would be so kind to take us to... Oh, actually, I'm going to go to Grizzan first. Now, yeah, Lucky okay. Hookline in the common oh. sells all the lures. He has the um, fire lures. He has the reveal fish school and reveal fish spell. Um, reveal fish is actually kind of useless unless you're pretty nearsighted like um, Ashley. She can't see them unless... She uses reveal fish on them in dark water. She can't see them. No way. Okay, we're here, we're here. Hmm. Trying, oh. Okay, okay. I can buy these fishes. I didn't know. Okay, after completing it, you get the first Dennis Sin Time spell. Oh, yeah. He also has other spells too, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do, but only on my fire. If you want, if you want that, uh, if you want to see me, I can go to my fire, because um, because my my fire wizard has um has has like it's got a higher level for for fishing. My fire, yeah, because this one over here only is only a level one. 
prophecy. Peace. After we finished here, yeah, it will seem yes, but you couldn't miss him if you tried. He's right behind the pink statue. He takes he takes you to Avalon. Is there something wrong with your with your mic? Now yeah, we we too. Hey, where are you going? Oh yeah. Where to in Avalon? Um, excuse me, but why am I running on my foot? Oh, there. Okay. Ooh, let's grab that. Let's grab that. Uh, this lady right here gives you. Uh, wait. This lady right here gives us the next quest line in fishing. However, there is a side fishing quest in Mishi. Which I will take you to now. <laughs> I like your fuck, Sammy. So cute. Oh, yes. And you get spells from him, too. But, yeah. But, okay, this is the side quest in fishing where you get in window spells by rank. More optional, but it does help. Lastly is the final fisher in a Azteca. If you could take us there, right? Yes, I will go there right now. Grab this. We're here now. Wait, wait, and now we are here. This is that last one guys, so yeah. Oh yeah. Now Sam now Sammy says the swamp. This guy right here, I'll read, I'll read it later. Hang on. Oh, I need a I need to go. Uh the swamp. This guy over here. He gives the quest called Rivers of Gold. Which gives me which gives by by your chest and is currently the final fishing quest. Ah, okay. Sink chest. Sink all chests to the bottom. Wow. But I mean, who would want that? Yeah. Hmm. Ten thousand dollars and ten thousand coins for that. So now you know you, you can get trying yourself. Yep.
be sure to leave a like and then a comment you guys be guys if you can hear me be sure to leave a comment and like and and don't forget to subscribe for more content we shall see you all through the screen bye get you guys later see ya